Good morning. I'm back after a long time with a new topic. The topic is from the chapter of gravitation. Name of the topic is uh, gravitational potential energy. Here uh, we will talk about our planet Earth and an object. Okay, the interaction between the planet Earth and that object will be considered here. And for any two masses, this theory can be applied. Okay. Uh, here, say, this is Earth. Okay. E stands for Earth. And say there is one, uh, this is the center of the Earth. Take one line, straight line here. And say there is one small mass M. Okay. Here, mass of this Earth is capital M. E is, E stands for Earth. Capital M is the mass of this Earth. Okay. And M is a small object. Somewhere, it is uh, located somewhere at a distance of D from the center of the Earth. Okay. And now suppose, uh, let us take this point. Say, this point is at a distance of R A from the center of Earth location R A. This is one point, and let us take another point somewhere here. This point, okay. This point. I am talking about this point, and say uh, it is at a distance of R B. B is suffix A and B are suffixes, okay. So this is the distance, right? So this point is denoted by A and this point is denoted by B, capital A and capital B. Suppose this mass M is taken from point A to point B and in that case we are going to calculate gravitational potential energy of this object when the object is taken from point A to point B where point A is at a distance of R A from the center of Earth and point B is at a distance of R B from the center of earth okay and m is its current position okay suppose the position vector is denoted by r arrow okay the position vector is denoted by this small r position vector of the mass m then what is the work done on the object then work done on the object W A B denoted by W A B it is equal to integration of F the force dot dr where dr is the infinitesimal change in the position vector of this small object and F is the force vector acted by uh, exerted by this planet Earth on this small object. Okay. And it is from A to B because the object is taken from point A to point B. Okay. Then this is equal to what? This is equal to minus integration of RA to RB if dr. Why this negative sign appears? Because here the direction of F, the force F and the direction of dr are opposite to each other okay direction of f is what what direction of f is this okay and we are taking the object from a to b so direction is this so you can see direction of f this is direction of f force vector and this is direction of the position vector okay so they, since they are opposite to each other that's why we need to put one negative sign before the integration and now you can integrate easily. We know that expression for F, this is known to us. This is equal to G capital M small m divided by R square. That is known to you. So just by using that, we can easily evaluate R A to R B G capital M small m by R square dr. 
So you can see integration is so easy. We have capital G, capital N and small m all are constants. Only one variable is there and that is R. So what will be the integration? Integration will be minus here R A is there, R B is there. Sorry, uh, better uh, I need to write here this way. Okay, that G M M by the G M M will appear here. This minus M, this is equal sign. Minus G M M R A to R B here dr by r square so what is the result result is here the integration will be what minus 1 by r so 1 by r a minus 1 by r b that is actually it will be g capital m small m into 1 by r b minus 1 by r a you can integrate this yourself okay and if you integrate you will get this result G M M into 1 by R B minus 1 by R A. You can see here R B is more than R A. Since R B is more than R A, therefore this bracketed quantity is actually negative when the particle is taken from point A to point B. So ultimately this result becomes negative. So work done is negative. Okay. Here work done is negative. And we know that change in potential energy change in potential energy that is denoted by delta u which is equal to ub minus ua okay which is equal to minus of wab so this will be what this will be equal to using this result we can write g capital m small m into 1 by r a minus 1 by r b okay and this result is positive so change in potential energy is positive when the particle or the object is taken from point A to point B. Okay, here delta U is <coughs> sorry. Here delta U is change in potential energy, which is given by U B minus E V. How these are coming? I will uh, discuss all these things in my next video. Okay, here the gravitational force was taken to be conservative in nature, and that's why we are. Uh, made our calculation this way how uh, this uh, gravitational force is conservative that all that thing also will be discussed in another video okay here our aim was to calculate gravitational potential energy for an object okay and uh, this result is different from the result we, we have uh, seen in another video in, the, in my previous video you have seen that uh, Potential energy, potential energy PE is equal to mgh, small g, here small g is acceleration due to gravity, m is the mass of the object and h is the height from the surface of the earth. This result of potential energy, this is valid only near the surface of the earth. Near the surface of the earth, the change in, gravity, uh, change in acceleration due to gravity is neglected. Okay, means uh, the acceleration due to gravity is taken to be a constant quantity near the surface of the earth. Okay, and in that case, potential energy can be calculated this way, mgh. This was discussed in my previous videos. Okay, and here, this formula, this is applicable for any distance. Here actually, g is changing, small g is changing, okay. That effect also uh, has been taken into account, okay. So this result is most general, but this result is not most general. This is only near the surface of the earth. Just keep in mind that uh, radius of earth is 6400 kilometer. So h should be very, very less than that value. That is h should be very, very less than 6400 kilometer. It may be like a 500 kilometer, it may be like 1000 kilometer, it may be like 200 meter or 50 meter, etc. Okay, means this H should be negligible as compared to the radius of Earth. Okay, so this is the end of this lecture. Um, thank you for watching this video. Henceforth, I'll, uh, I'll keep on posting 
different videos, uh, sorry, he has different videos on different subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, etc. and also few subjects will be there uh, which are related to the department of mechanical engineering, okay, like uh, theory of machines, fluid mechanics, heat transport, etc. engineering mechanics, etc. All those things will be discussed in the, in the same channel, okay, okay, thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day.